What's going on guys? Welcome to Poe Boys. Me and Caleb are leaving 6 Media right now. We're gonna go take his Infinity, which is his new car, which by the way looks freaking beautiful. Um, we're gonna take his car and uh, take it to his other car, his black Mustang that a girl T-boned. And we're gonna do a code read on it because for some reason it's not starting and we're trying to bring it home. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's Caleb's old car. You know what's funny is I could actually put those 18s on here if I wanted to. You really could. I just don't want to. Yeah, these look a lot better. <laughs> Be good for a burnout. <laughs> You have the key. All right, so we got the code reader up to it. It wasn't starting, if you can see from the footage that we took a while ago. It was like probably about like two weeks ago we were trying to get this thing out of here. Uh, we finally got a code reader we can put on it uh, in some time. We've been so busy with the events and everything. So we're going to do a code read, see what it's not doing, see what's basically falling apart, and we'll go from there. All right, so we have EVAP codes for no flow, which basically means the gas cap's probably open. Check the gas cap. Close it. Let me clear all these codes, Let's see what the rest of them are and then we'll get this thing on. The brain of the car is the ECU. Well, the yeah. heart of it is the engine. Well, actually, no, that'd be the lungs the because the it car. breathes air in and then it puts air back out. Well, the legs of the car is the transmission and drive shaft. Our, well, and the feet the would be the wheels. All right, let's try and turn this thing on. That's not pleasing. So now we go back and test it again. See if it threw a different code. All right, so we got the battery charged a little bit. We're also jumping it off with Caleb's car. And Kayla's gonna try and turn it on. Pop your trunk. Let me see if this switch back here had been tripped. Okay, so we figured out the problem. Um, if you look down here, this is where Caleb's wreck was, where he had the most of the impact, which you can tell was a pretty big impact. This wheel right here is bent. Uh, the tire is sliced from this right here. But let's look inside. You can see that right there. That right there line is broken from the EVAP, probably from the tire coming back and hitting it because the tire did shift back a lot. That line is broken and uh, it must be fixed. You can see there's the other line right there. That's the issue with the car. Now we gotta figure out how to fix that, which is gonna suck. Okay, so me, Jake, and Caleb are in Gavin's truck. Thank you, Gavin, for letting us borrow it. Me and Caleb are going to be taking my wheels back to the house because I'm going to be going through stuff with them. So Jake, we're going to take his tire, get that fixed because he had a blowout the other day and then his car got towed <laughs> out of a parking lot to like a different city. So we had to figure that out. And then also I'm getting a desk. So let's go ahead and do so. Dude, you ever just freaking love this song? <laughs> By a unanimous vote of the, what? By a unanimous vote of everybody and doing a series for you, everyone said yes. We're gonna start filming doing stuff to Caleb's car. If y'all don't know, it's a 2009 Infinity G37S six-speed manual, and it's a coupe. And it is a beautiful car. This thing really is just beautiful. We took the badge off right there because it's rose gold, and uh, those are kind of they just uh, they don't look good on the car. Yeah, they just don't look good. It's rose gold. It's not bronze, and it just really doesn't match that, you know. So we're taking that off. Well, we realized that this was just a clip in, and there was no bolts on the other side of it. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and paint these a different color that matches the car a lot better than rose gold because just the emblems being rose gold and everything else being regular color is kind of. Hola, Mello. Mello, Mello. Mello is Mello is Mello. And Poe. Who is Cat this? is Cat. That is Cat. Nala. Cat. Cat. Okay. All right, so <laughs> these wheels right here are um, pretty gnarred up from the previous owner, whoever had them before me. They found all of the ways to curb these. Um, this thing is a mess if you cannot see the footage of it. Let me get you a good angle of just how. How do you this many times? Oh, dude, they just got on it and they just kept driving. <laughs> they just kept going and kept going and kept going. They're like, oh no, is this a problem? Oh boy. Well, we're gonna fix this. So what we have, some sandpaper for the outside of the wheel because I'm going to be changing the color of the wheels and that's gonna be one of the colors in there which I'll show you a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit different than what you might be thinking since you see the colors that you see. Um, so basically I have 150, 100, 220 and if it doesn't look good enough after 220 then I'm gonna go ahead and go higher, maybe 500. Then I have a Dremel set as well as a Dremel and I'll be using sandpaper uh, circular bits. These are the center caps and these are also isopropyl alcohol jumbo cotton balls so we can clean everything up, all the road grime and grease off of everything and all this stuff. So let's go ahead, cleaning these things off and getting them to more of a straight wheel so I can get a new layer of paint on it without it looking goofy. Let's go ahead and get started.
you kind of get the process. Just go back and forth. Don't stay in one spot too long, otherwise the wheel will be a little wavy. Make sure you do long sweeping motions and get through all of the rash. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and round these edges off. All right, now you kind of see the idea. Let's go ahead and throw this guy on the charger. If you're not blind or dumb as a rock, you can see that edge is way better. What you can see there, just by the first layer of grinding, is way better than this stuff right here. So that definitely is making a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of the wheels, same thing, and then after that, I'll go ahead and hit it with sandpaper, but then I'll go back to recording. This so. It's gonna be a long process, but it's gonna make them look way better when we're done. It's gonna be worth it. Bro, that's so cool. I am decurbing wheels. I'm not even talking about the wheels. What? Talk about that shirt, bro. Where did you get that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's on fire, but it's also in my hand. So like, you can do this and drop it, catch your house on fire, pick it up. Come over here, play bop with it. Be <laughs> careful now, let's not burn down the house. Remember that white people shit that I was talking about earlier? This is that. <laughs> this is why we die. And that's how you stop fires, is by letting all the oxygen go away from it. Believe it or not, there was no houses burnt down in the making this video. Remember all the... Uh... Caleb's cat is to blame for those blinds, who all y'all who are gonna comment on those. Oh yeah! Caleb's getting that sand in there in between them spokes. Yo, yo, yo. Pretty much got this whole rim clear when it comes to curves. Um, no more rash. This one had a big gash in the side of it, but you can't even tell anymore. Seeing it down on the inside right there, pretty sweet. Gang. All right, guys, so if you can tell, all of this stuff right here is completely uh, sanded down. Most all of the base layer and the clear coat are off of these. If you can tell, this gold is a little bit more vivid than the rest of these gold, which means this most likely was a set at one point, and then maybe at one point this was a replacement. Don't know why, however, I do know that that one had a lot of curb rash on it. Maybe that's why they wanted to replace it. And uh, there was curb rash on basically this one, this one, this one, and that one. That one was the only one that didn't have any curb rash that I needed it fixed that bad. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the paint and primer on there, which I'm going to do a layer of black, or two layers of black, one layer of chrome, and then another layer of black, and then a layer of clear. Which makes no sense right now, but it'll come out to be a black chrome if I get everything that I'm expecting. So hopefully I can. Let me get started with this one. Well, yeah, garage, I've done that before, but never in the house. The house is more ventilated than the garage is. So oh, boy. Those are going to look good. Yeah, I know. Caleb, I'm pretty sure this is the reason I moved out. I know my, my dad is going to be watching this in disbelief, and I know I never, ever, ever would have gotten away with this in my dad's house. Probably for a good reason, though. Yeah, they know what they're talking about, believe it or not. Lord, I wonder what people are going to say when they start realizing that I'm doing these things black. They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, you ruined them. Or, oh my gosh, you did so good. One of the two. So, just doing more taping and going to do the rest of this to the rest of the wheels. We'll get back to you when the first coat of black is on all of the wheels. Mello has upgraded to the gas mask. But if you can see, the first layer I put on, if you can see, it is very, very light. And then this is the second layer. You can see it's getting a little bit thicker. You can see a little bit of that bronze through there. But it's getting thicker and thicker as the coats go. I'm going to hit this with the second layer and this with the first layer. Oh boy, look at that color that they have right there. That is black and silver mixed together. I'm gonna put another layer of silver on there. It's like a graphite, but they're not gonna stay this color. Let's keep on and continue with the process. Look how beautiful this is. This is literally freaking amazing. This is really going towards that black chrome look. I am like, I am so ready to see this. Oh my gosh. This is, this has literally been like three hours in the making. Probably gonna do one more layer of gloss black, another layer of silver, and then another layer of black 
and clear. So let's get doing it. All right, so it's really hard to explain what I'm doing here, but I'm basically adding a flake to it. This layer is still kind of wet, and I'm just giving it a little bit of a flake so it'll look like a, like a solar system in there. It has that perfect amount of flake that just looks beautiful. Oof, I feel like my name should be Gustavo. Bring these bitches to the art convention, to the cookout. And it's such a meticulous art too. Now let's let these dry, and after they dry, I will hit him with the clear coat. So let's do it. It's about to go down. In fact, I need a little bit more light so I can see you better. There we go. It's that time, Caleb, you ready? All right, he's not ready. Oh boy, I freaking hate clear. Clear is one of those things that really can just determine how good your project's gonna be. So if you spray it wrong, or if you get a single streak on clear, which is very easy to do, then it's game over and you're starting again. And I've done that many a times and I'm willing to do it this time if that's what needs to happen, but I hope not. Oh boy, why do they look so freaking frosty? Holy crap, these are beautiful. It's basically exactly what I was going for, which is black chrome, because it's black and it has that accent of the silver popping out into it. Just those tiny flakes in there inside of that big wet coat I put on there. And they're just absorbing into the clear right now. And boy, it's really just turning into a black chrome. Literally, as I'm speaking, I can watch these wheels turn into a black chrome. It's pretty cool. All right, it's time. Hey, uh, Caleb, yeah. they look badass. They look really good. <coughs> oh my lord. Yo. Yo. Look at how clean that is. What in the world? Imagine these hoes wheeled up to your car, Caleb. Now I want my car to run now so much even more. What? Holy crap. These hoes look minty. These look like Jake's Ferratas. Just different. Yeah. Shiny and flaky it looks, but man, it looks beautiful. Looks so good. Look at the salt and peppering of that. Just gang, 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 Hi. gang, Hi. gang. Hi. All right, so we have this supermoto wheels all that stuff over here in the living room area which we haven't gotten anything into i'm making an actual living room here soon we just never spend our time at home we're always at six media if y'all want to know what are up with the blinds the cat does that that's that's all caleb's cat's fault honestly yeah it is it really is so damn it all right so what i did was i got some 3m tape took this emblem put it right here <laughs> blow some of this junk out of here now that'll take paint really good, and it's a really smooth surface, so when paint goes on it, it'll look great. So you'll never be able to tell that this ever looked like this after we wiped down with some alcohol. All right, so while we're uh, painting stuff, Caleb's like, oh, we might be able to do my engine cover, so we're gonna go ahead and pop his hood. Yeah, we could totally so make that much red. like this would be red. I'd wait until you get intakes before you did anything color-wise, because you can paint the intake piping as well. Honestly, that'd be the next mod I had, like, for this car would be intake, and then exhaust, of course. Exhaust what I'd do first, and after that, get an intake. All right, so I ended up painting a lot of layers on these uh, Infinity logos right here. Caleb has this whole thing taped off. Three layers of black, two layers of tint red, three layers of silver, and then three layers of tint red, one more half layer of silver again, and then I'm gonna do three more tint layers of red and then another half layer of black this thing will be looking minty and then after that layer of black i'm gonna throw in one more layer of red and it will literally look like beautiful what are you doing dog he's working on his thing right here it says mellow and that also says v6 gang yo it's hard to see how crisp this is this is all spray paint this one too Pretty dope. So these guys are coming along pretty good. All right, so I've got the old emblem in the oven right now. Come here, I wanna show you the finished product. First off, let me not knock this off the wall. So. Da, 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 da. I'm so happy. This is actually exactly what I wanted. Really? Like, yeah, to a T, actually. That's dope. Thank you, Poe. So let me let me show them what this is now. Thank you for the help, Poe. You're welcome. Let's hope that camera could focus. Either way, these bitches are fucking crispy. Straight out the oven, crispy. Straight out the oven, crispy. The whole thing is crispy. Check out that crisp right there, son. What? Okay, so Caleb's gonna go ahead and put this in his car. Just be aware of where you're touching it and how close you are. That's on. Oh, yes, sir. Bro, you really look like Rudolph right now. Sure do. Look how red it is and how shiny it is. It's beautiful. 
and it's so cool because it's like it's sleek like you wouldn't like looking at it you wouldn't think that there's a giant ass red thing and then like bam there you go it's that's there like rudolph bro now we're going back out to install the rear and luckily he already has it clean enough and the outline's there still so that way he can make sure that uh, 3m tape he's got on the back of there is going to stick pretty good but the old lines are there so it should be a little bit easier than before yes sir oh my lord Dude, whenever they, oh man, oh man, whenever, oh man, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they'll know, they'll know what it is in a later video. Hey, what's going on guys? I got a freaking haircut. Uh, got a fade, my first ever fade. I went to a place called Nappy Cuts up here in, in Ruston, and they freaking set me up. You can play pool in, while you're waiting in line for a haircut, and by the way, it's a freaking fresh haircut, by the way. So, let's freaking get moving along to what I've been doing in the past few days. For Caleb's birthday, Gavin got Caleb a cold air intake for his car and we decided we might as well paint them. So I went ahead and painted them with just a really nice little spackle design, just red and black. With no light, it kind of looks dark red, like a really midnight red, and that's the kind of look Caleb was looking for. And then if you want to, you can put some light on it and it really just brings out that red. If I can have that camera focus, there we go. It just brings out the red in that color, yeah. That, that looks great. This one right here is already done. If you can see, it is dry, it is ready to go. But either way, you can kind of get an idea. It looks pretty good. We're getting those painted. Wheels are done. Let me show you all the final product of those. Oh boy. Yeah, that's what my wheels look like. Them mugs are definitely painted. They are not the same color at all. They're no longer gold. They look pretty dope though, honestly, with that spackle. A few times I've done it with the wheels and the intake right here, it ended up turning out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think this will be a wrap up for a video. So thank y'all very much for watching. Have a great one. Remember to send it and subscribe because y'all need to subscribe. If you're already at like this point and you haven't subscribed already, then like you should probably subscribe. I love you. Bye-bye. Send it.